Cordo and Silas Sumire! Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Do we, we, we do rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first? We just have at it. I just have at it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, but Darren is a pretty big star. A, a dying star who can only see his cock if it calls him on Zoom, but still, he's a pretty big star. <laughs> Right, so I've never done this before, and I've had a chest infection for three weeks, so I'm just going to be essentially racist. <laughs> Is that all right? <laughs> so Silas comes from Romania, and he... <laughs> Get him out! <laughs> and he says... He says he's a public pickup artist, but you know, we would think that's going up to females in the street and flirting with them, but he just goes up to females in the street and literally just picks them up <laughs> and puts them in a van. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, as many middle aged uh, celebrities, uh, Darren got a hair transplant <laughs> because he wanted to experience going bald twice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Silas um, comes from Romania. <laughs> When he stayed in, he grew up as a Jehovah's Witness and he fled his country to come here because he didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness anymore. So he came to a country that, you know, he can't eat haggis or black pudding because he's got that Jehovah's Witness guilt. But he loves black cock. <laughs> Let me explain that joke, Cyrus. <laughs> when you're a Jehovah's Witness, you can't eat blood, and there's blood in black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> and then he roasted black, himself. <laughs> uh, but black cock is just the same as black pudding, no? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Darren has amassed uh, a huge TikTok following, actually, so give him a round of applause. Uh, yeah. It surprised him as well because he only ever went on TikTok to, you know, fuck the kids. Um, <laughs> is that that? <laughs> <laughs> you saved me with the black cock joke there, mate. <laughs> um, so Silas is an actor, a comedian, he's a podcast host and he works in a restaurant but his main source of income is pretending to play the violin to the Beach Boys <laughs> on Sucky Hall Street <laughs> with his rancid family. <laughs> I told you that with confidence. Um, a lot of people come up to Darren and ask him if he's Bobby from Squat Squad. And in a way he is. He is Bobby from Squat Squad, except his mum actually drank during the pregnancy. <laughs> so, being a Jehovah's Witness... <laughs> You have to go around and chap people's doors, but because he comes from Romania, the only way you can get rid of them is if you wave garlic at them. <laughs> so sorry. 
<laughs> okay, so I've actually done some research and I found out that in real life, Darren is nothing like Bobby from Squad Squad. Like, yeah, he is a bumbling idiot and a buffoon, but Bobby from Squad Squad managed to get his hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, um, right, what am I going to say? <laughs> I'm dreading it already. Um, I mean, right. <laughs> You know, we're pals, you know that? Yeah. Right, okay, we're pals. <laughs> and I told you I was going to be horrific. I don't know, I don't know why I'm sweating, man. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll just say it, right? Silas isn't the only person in his family to get roasted. <laughs> His grandparents a hundred years ago. They get roasted in a windowless. I don't know why I'm looking straight into your eyes, mate. They also get roasted in a windowless basement. I'm so sorry. I mean, it was the communist, but close enough. Uh, <laughs> I have found one difference, or actually no, I found another similarity between Darren and Bobby from Squad Squad. Uh, when he was six years old, Darren accidentally drank bleach. Ever since then, he's been drinking it on purpose. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, again, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Silas. I don't know if anybody knows anything about autism. <laughs> <coughs> One of the most common side effects is people like to put on voices when they've got autism. So the first time I met Silas, for seven months I thought he was just autistic. <laughs> and then I found out he was actually Romanian. <laughs> which then made me realise I had autism. So <laughs> <laughs> Darren almost became a Jehovah's Witness, it's true, but then they realized that some people, even Jesus, can't help. <laughs> that is a true story, by the way, when I, I annually became a Jehovah's Witness, and part of the Jehovah's Witness faith is they kind of, you know, try to recruit people but they kind of go towards people that are mentally ill and weak. So that's why we became good friends. <laughs> Double roast. <laughs> uh, he was actually so good at knocking on doors that the witnesses uh, gave him a nickname, but it's a bit serial killery. Uh, they called him uh, Bible Darren. <laughs> S uh, Silas loves doing cold water therapy. Um, does anyone do that? No? <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, cold water therapy is when you go into locks and lakes at cold temperatures and normally it helps your mental health. But he just does it because he's not got a shower. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, so we uh, talk about him and Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, if Darren trapped your door, uh, you would probably let him in, but you just hide all the jewelry first. <laughs> Fine, yeah. you got this one. You got the ra this round to him. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've actually got any more jokes left, mate. <laughs> Apart from like your family dying in death camps and stuff. <laughs> I've put down um, Silas as a, owns sex slaves. <laughs> uh, he's got an adult work empire, and he's got a treat system in place where he treats Romanian sex workers like golden Labradors. So when they behave, he'll give them dog biscuits. 
and when they misbehave, he takes away the treats. Again, it's new material, guys. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Darren has a baby face, but that baby was raised on deep fried heroin. <laughs> All right, he's still in it. Uh, I'm just gonna carry on. Yeah. yeah. When tourists hear Darren talk, they think to themselves, oh my God, he sounds just like Shrek. <laughs> but then they see him and he realize, and they realize that he also has Shrek's skincare routine. <laughs> Fair enough. That is true. <laughs> One more? Okay. Uh, Darren once sucked a cock by accident. But to be fair, it is quite hard to tell someone's sex uh, before they hit puberty, so. <laughs> so <laughs> I sucked it, alright. <laughs> Silas came over here as an immigrant, alone. <laughs> alone with no friends and family, and the comedy community took him in with open arms, and it was quite, you know, sad to see someone scared and alone in another country, and I was like, I'll be your friend, but it's just because he gets a 50% discount in <laughs> That's where he works. <laughs> Washing the dishes, obviously. <laughs> With the fucking rest of the money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm gonna have to edit that just so the <laughs> reference, but. <laughs> Uh, Dara looks like a Make-A-Wish kid lived long enough to be accused of sexual assault. <laughs> si <laughs> uh, I've run out of jokes, by the way. Uh, I took Silas to a panto at Christmas, and that was just a good laugh. <laughs> Watching a Romanian cunt. <laughs> Watch a panto. <laughs> like, like it was an acid flashback or something. Uh, Can you just call me fat, mate? <laughs> this one, I, I wasn't going to use this one, but he uh, breathes like a pug on life support. <laughs> So the one, <laughs> the one I'm actually going to use is, uh, so Darren is actually not a one trick pony, okay guys, like I've done some research, here are some of his uh, recent TV credits, uh, Squad Squad obviously, uh, Trust Me on BBC, Glasgow Trip on BBC, and The Epstein Case Files on the BBC. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> At least when I'm a sex offender, I can be a sex offender on the TV. You <laughs> 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 You're just a sex offender in parks. <laughs> at night time. <laughs> after your 19 hour shift. <laughs> yes, my 19 hour shift as a sex offender, I get it. <laughs> Uh, but actually, uh, so just to bring it back home now, uh, a year before the Russell Brand documentary came out, Darren warned us on his podcast about him. So he's, he's actually a decent guy, okay? The only thing Darren would force himself upon is an unconsenting tub of ice cream. <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knows anything about the Jehovah's Witness religion. <laughs> I've done some research. We can Google it later. See when uh, the end of the world happens, do you know the kingdom of Jehovah only taken 2,000 people? 
out of all the Jehovah's Witnesses in the world and everybody else, they only take in 2,000 people. So, that's you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing else to say. Just look at him. Just look at him. <laughs> so, yeah, That's not the first time you slid behind someone, did you? <laughs> oh, fuck me, you've lost. <laughs> <laughs> but so, like, both of these cunts are actors, like, um, Silas, like, if you want to know you can find them in, you can find them in Wagamama's next weekend. <laughs> Serving cunts. Um, and like, I've, you're probably wondering, like, how do you get like, a real actor, like, a fucking, like, an actual star, like, uh, we pay him in butter. Because uh, <laughs> he's fat. Um, <laughs> so. That you've been drinking your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's up to you to decide. So, by way or noise of applause, is it Silas so much? Or is it? Darren Cole! I was playing fucking queer, get off your wall! Darren Cole, everybody! You bunch of racist cunts!